Hey, hey, welcome back to Bowser Callahan's Word of Advice. And in this video today, I'm going to talk about the topic of just having some alone time. And the reason I wanted to talk about this topic is because I know in today's world, a lot of us are very busy. We have this commitment that we need to attend to, or we have this event that we want to attend to, and in the end, a lot of us today have a lot of social time with other human beings. And now, while I think it's great that we have some social time with other people, I also believe that it is important for all of us to just have some time to ourselves. You know, when we are just having some alone time, we can get away from the world, and we can just have some time that's more quiet. We don't have to be somewhere and constantly be doing something with other people. I believe it's great that when we have some time to ourselves, such as having some alone time, that we can just kind of recharge after we have attended to so many busy events which take a lot of energy out of us. Me, for example, I know I lead a very busy life, but since I live my life on a schedule, what I try to do is schedule at least one day every week where, at least for most of the day, I don't have to be out and about and doing something. I'm just at home and relaxing and having some quiet time, talking to God, and just doing some fun things, which I do by myself, like reading the Bible or writing or playing video games. I very much believe that it is important for all of us to Try to get at least one day every week where we can be by ourselves and just enjoy some alone time where we can relax and recharge and enjoy some fun hobbies that we normally enjoy by ourselves. I would say if you are somebody who leads a very busy life, well one, I think it's great that you are having some social time with people. I definitely be believe social time is important. But two, I would also recommend that if you are feeling a little bit drained from your very busy schedule, that you try to find one day a week, or at least most of a day, where you can just Enjoy some alone time to yourself and just kind of recharge and relax. One last note. While I believe alone time is important for everybody, I also believe that we should not have too much alone time. Just like I believe we shouldn't have too much social time, we shouldn't have too much alone time either because... All of us are creatures who are meant to socialize with other people. It's just that we need a break sometimes. So if you are considering on having some alone time, great. But just don't have too much alone time. Try to find as great of a balance as you can between socialing time and alone time. Because I very much believe that having a fair amount of social time and a fair amount of alone time is definitely important for everybody. So this is just something to consider in your daily life when it comes to your schedule every week and how much social time and alone time that you have. Because I believe both are important and are helpful if you know how to use both of them correctly, and if you schedule a fair amount of each every week. And with that, 
I certainly hope what I've talked about in this video will come in handy. I certainly hope it helps. And come back for another word of advice video.